Do you know, why fabric shrinkage grouping is done in the garment industry? You can answer it easily. First, to ensure quality. Second, minimize the number of patterns. But have you thought how much time does your team spends on this process? And what could be the impact? If shrinkage grouping is not done correctly. Let's see with an example. This is an actual report from one factory. Based on buyer tolerance the quality team marks each roll. You can see that rolls that are star marked will have pattern as 4 into 2%. And similarly there are two more groups. This manual process has two issues. It takes a lot of time of your experienced quality manager. And the chances of manual error are very high. Leading to garment rejection and even shipment rejection in some cases. As you can see in this roll. There is deviation of 1.3% in weft. Whereas buyer tolerance is plus minus 0.5%. Like this, there are several other roles that have problem. Now, you may be thinking why not do an Excel? Let's try that also. You can see here, after applying sorting in both warp and weft, the number of groups came around 7 to 8. You may come up with better solution. But it takes too much time even if it is done in Excel. Now let's see how we have automated this in OptiCut. Upload your shrinkage details in a single click. Set the warp wise and weft wise tolerance. And click on run button. The grouping is ready in seconds. It shows you group-wise fabric quantity. Few acceptable deviations to reduce the number of patterns. Let's see the advantages. Time reduced a few seconds from approximately 30 minutes. High accuracy. And optimum number of groups. Like this, we have automated many processes in the entire supply chain and can save up to 10% fabric using optimization algorithms and predictive analytics. Contact us today for a free demo.